cartoon recaps here, today I will be recapping the movie called, The Witcher Nightmare of the Wolf. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins with a carriage moving in the forest. Inside the carriage are little scary children, who are being transported by their father. Their cart gets stocked in a vine at the middle of the forest. He tells his eldest son to keep watch while he cuts the branches preventing the cart from moving. The kids are so scared because they have heard many stories of things killing children in the forest. As their father is trying to convince them that everything is all right, a vine comes out from the forest and pierce their dad's heart. The children are all screaming in fear and are making their escape, but the vine starts to grab them one by one, tearing them to pieces. While the eldest son is still making his escape, he is grabbed by a man, who tells him to be quiet as he monitors the demon moves. Then the man comes out fearlessly in the middle of the forest and by the sword in his back, the little boy notices that the man is a witcher. The demon finally makes its appearance and started to attack him. But he just fights the demon with not much effort. As the demon is about to pounce on him, he brings out a blue fire from his hand, and scares the demon away. This witcher name is known to be Vesemir. While he is introducing himself to the little child, another demon suddenly grabs him from behind but immediately, the witcher brings out a fire from his hand, and burnt the demon alive. After this incident, a court meeting is held. A sorceress called Tetra Gilcrest suggested to the king that witchers should be wiped out because, she feels that all those demon incidents that are happening are being faked by the witchers for money. While she is talking another courtier called, Lady Serpst interrupted. She defends the witcher saying without Vesemir none of them would have been alive to see this day. She tells the sorceress to prove herself but it seems there aren't any evidence of her accusations. The king then closes the matter in favor of the witchers. An elf called, Philavandril visited Vesemir and suggests to him that he feels someone might be making those demons he encountered from earlier. But Vesemir doesn't care, all he cares about is the money and nothing more. Vesemir starts to remember his past of when he was little and poor. His father was helping his mom possessed by a demon, while he was busy assisting. His father others him to buy some medicine and when he was on his way, his best friend called Ileana, visited him. Vesemir was a slave at his childhood and just wanted to have a better life. They both stole a horny cake at the market and when they were devouring it, they were confronted by a man, by the way he dressed, Vesemir notices that he is a witcher. He is called, Deeglin. He brings the Deeglin to his house where his mother was. Deeglin then instructs everyone to leave the room but excluded Vesemir to assist him. The witcher casted a spell that was able to bring the demon out of his mom, but as the demon was about to attack Vesemir, the witcher killed it with his enchanted knife. Vesemir was really impressed by what he just saw, and learns from Deeglin that a witcher brings a lot of money and gold, and could change his life. Due to this, Vesemir wanted to be one, so he can make his life better. At midnight Vesemir slips out of his room and goes to the place of the witchers. Vesemir and other trainees were now given a test, concerning their survival instinct. If anyone can make it out alive from the demon claws, only then will be trained as a witcher. Almost all the little children that night were killed by the demons but Vesemir and his friends were barely able to make it out alive. But they were all severely injured. Later on, they were all given a potion that really tortured them for days, which was the final process in making them a witcher. Finally, Vesemir is now a witcher. He confronted a wolf demon, and even slays it as if it was nothing. And he even encounters thousands of demons, and slays them all like as if we was slicing watermelons for fun. The more he does this, he makes more money. Back in the present, when he and his witcher friend called, Luca is having fun and drinking at a bar with girls, the royal guards out of jealousy interrupted their fun. He insults them by saying a man of virtue or a real man is supposed to be doing all these jobs not some mutants. Vesemir doesn't want any fight but as he keeps speaking, they then get into a fight. Sorcerer's Tetra Gilcrest requested the king's presence again, suggesting that those witchers should be executed for killing royal guards at the bar yesterday. But Lady Serps, who is on the witcher's side, appeals to the king saying it was the guards that caused the fight, that the witchers were only defending themselves. She convinces the king to let Tetra join the witcher on a mission to kill a powerful demon called, Kitsu. Lady Serps releases Vesemir and recognized her to be Ileana, his old long childhood friend. She is much more older than him now because, witchers are spelled to grow slower. When she tells him about her suggestions to the king to reduce his anger on him, he is so pleased. Later on, Vesemir and Tetra are set to go inside the forest for their mission. On their way, Vesemir boasts about his adventures as a witcher and how he has killed so many powerful demons. But Tetra is just tensed up by the way he talks too much. At nightfall, Tetra tells Vesemir about a young sorceress who was wrongly executed by a witcher as part of the ways to earn money, 
and even concluded that witchers are very corrupt. The next morning, they find the powerful demon called, Kitsu who had a huge monster on her side. They both used all their powers to fight the monster. After a long fight Tetra is able to trap the monster and Vesemir immediately burns the demon alive. Doing their actions, Kitsu uses the opportunity to escape. As the both of them were tracking down Kitsu, they came across an old building filled up with dead bodies. In the building, Vesemir sees his elf friend, Philavandral captured and releases him. Philavandral explains that those dead bodies that they saw earlier were used for some kind of experiment. Later on, he realizes that the witchers were the ones responsible for kidnapping little elves and using them to create demons, so they can keep their business going. But Vesemir wasn't aware of this, and goes on his way to meet the witcher leader, Deeglin for explanations. While Tetra on the other hand, uses all her powers to destroy Kitsu basement. Thereafter she secretly makes an agreement with Kitsu. The news of witchers using people for experiment to make demons got to the king, and he was too angry and summons Vesemir's friend, Luca who also doesn't seem to know about the treacherous deeds of witchers using humans to create monsters. Before Luca could say any more word, the king orders his guard to behead him. Lady Ileana witnessing this hurries to warn the other witchers on the king anger towards them all. Vesemir later confronts Deeglin and expresses his anger towards him on how he grew up knowing they were meant to kill demons and not to make them. After a long argument, they both get into a fight. While they were fighting, Ileana appears informing them about the king's soldiers in the front gate, ready to go into war with the witchers, with the sorcerer's Tetra leading them. Tetra joins hands with Kitsu so they can defeat the witchers by any means possible. Kitsu summons all her demons to fight them. The witchers seeing they are now outnumbered, stayed in their formation and they all started throws fireballs on the demons heading towards them. But the battle started. Tetra army seemed to be winning the fight, and were slaughtering very witcher. Deeglin seeing this became so outraged and frustrated, and almost even got killed in a fight with one of Tetra's men. But Vesemir recuses and saves his life. He commands Vesemir to find Tetra and Kitsu to kill them while he will deal with the rest of Tetra men. The rest of the witchers are captured, about to be executed by Tetra. Iliana even comes in to appeal for them, but instead Tetra threatens her life also. Immediately Vesemir appears as he is about to attack, Kitsu appears and takes him to an illusion of where he was happy and married to Iliana. He notices that all these weren't real and breaks out of the illusion. Immediately, goes into an epic fight with Tetra. After a long fight, he finally slays both Kitsu and Tetra. Vesemir then notices that he was just another illusion, and has even mistakenly killed the wrong people and has injured Ileana. Immediately Tetra's arrow shot him to the ground. She was about to finish him, but Deeglin comes from behind and killed her. Deeglin is badly injured after a long battle and gave his last touching words before he died. He takes the injured Ileana away and burnt the whole place to ashes. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.